So this is an exercise. It's also just a little reminder of what the dot does. We talked about it briefly in the previous uh, set of notes here, but the dot's going to be used for a single character match. It actually really doesn't show up until this last problem here, but I just want to make sure that we covered it. But here's an exercise that I want you to go through and tell me. It looks like I need to realign things up here, but tell me which one matches with what type of sequence. So just that. Complete this exercise. The dollar sign is not meant to be a regular expression thing. It's just a delimiter to show you when the actual expression is going to end. So I just want to make sure that's perfectly clear. But other than that, let's do number one for now. I will go over an answer and then I'll come back and ask you to do number two and number three and then go from there. So do number one for me, go over an answer and be right back. So let's start off with, frankly, a narrative on how this should work out. In our overall setup, I'm going to read from left to right, and then I'll go from there. So notice, by the way, because I screwed this up before, I am putting my chart of which one means what here as our matching operators for well, what we're doing here. So it's at least going to start with an A. It should be Ann. Then after this, notice we have a pairing, so this means it needs to be together. If it was square braces, that'd be a totally different you know, setup. But whatever it is, it's going to be A, B, and then with a star, and I'm more talking to myself than you guys, that means zero or more of A and B. So again, go to zero or more A's and B's in a group, and we'll put that in parentheses. And then we final, last, has to be, has to be an A. Okay, so notice I'm spelling it all out with this. So next you'll see the overall pairing of what is what and the answers to see which one's a yes and which one's a no. So there's a lot on here, forgive me, but honestly keeping that for me has been important. So let's look at the yeses and nos. Let's start with the nos first. So again, using my narrative in order to make sure we got this right, we have to start with an A, and all three do start with an A, but it must be something after that. It has to be zero or more ABs. Now notice I said ABs, and they have to be in that order from right to left. So right off the bat, this one is bad because it starts with a BA. That one's done, so it's really gonna bomb right basically here. The next one, for C, it starts off great. We have an A, B here, that's okay. So we at least get zero or more. So we got that, but the bad part is, is that it either has to end with an A right after it, or we continue that overall pattern, which frankly we don't. So that's why that one's bad. This one starts with an A, that's great. But again, I need an A, B and it needs to end in A. We do, but uh, it just doesn't, it bombs out right here. So let's take a look at the ones that are good. Starts with an A, we get at least one A, B, and then we start with an A, so this one should be pretty easy. This one has starts with an A, combination of A, B's, and ends with an A. You know, with another one, we, we could have done uh, A and A. That would have been another one that would have worked out too. So there's actually several combinations, that really have unlimited combinations, but that's the ones that worked with this particular setup for a regular expression and matching operators. So now that you got number one done, go and take a look at two and three, answer those two for me, hit pause, get to work, then I'll go over and answer with you here in a little bit.
in this one. We have A, which is fine. B, that's going to have more. And again, I'm sitting on my narr uh, narrative here. Starts with an A. B can be one or more. So we at least have to have at least one or more Bs. And then our last one is a C, and C is a question mark. It's either one, zero or one. So no sign we screwed that up again. So again, either zero or one C's. So that's how we should set that up. We'll do our yeses and nos again. So go ahead and do that, and we'll go over and answer here in a minute. All right, now we got our yeses and nos and the breakup of what we go. So let's go with no again. Start, starts with an A. We kind of know, is that right? Yeah, D is really off. But anyway, sorry, I thought I made a typo here. But for A, it starts off with an A. That's great. Now we need at least one or more Bs, which we don't have. So that's it. Done. Now, funny, D didn't even start with an A. That's why I thought I put it roots on the wrong, but that didn't even start with an A, so that's done. All right, let's look at the yeses. Starts with an A. Now, I really should be going by my narration here, or narrative. And then it starts at least with one or more Bs. And then zero or one C's. So that's perfect. Next one. Starts with an A. Duh. We have at least one or more B's. And then we don't have a C, but that's okay. It says zero or one, so that'll make out and may be just fine for our yes match with that type of setup. So there's on to the next one. So here's your last one. Let's go with the narrative. Starts with an A. Sorry, I need to change that. But anyway, next. Next character has to be a wild card. Now remember, this cannot be a blank. It's got to be something. Now the bad part is, is it could be anything. It could be another B, it could be another C, it could be a lot of different things here. So wild card is next. Wild card has to be next. Okay? This is B or C. So we have to be careful. Notice it's not in parentheses, it's in the square braces. So that means one or the other. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna take care of this. The plus means one or more. So one or more B or C's. Okay, so that's where things get interesting on this last one here. So we'll go over the S's and no's here in a minute and go from there. Here's our yeses and no's for this one. So I'm going to start with no because there's only one. Go figure. So A, it's got to start with an A. Taken care of. Wild card can be anything next, which could be C. But we need that last part, which is one or more B or C. So I really just needed one more character after that, and it would have been fine. So that's why that one's a no. Let's go to our yeses. So we have an A, okay? Our next has to be a wild card. Okay, so that's B. It could be anything. Could have been whatever we wanted. And then after that, it has to be one or more Bs or Cs. So that takes care of that. So there's a C matching that last part. So we're good there. Next one. Start with an A. Always start with A, so you can forget about that part. Hey, here's my wild card. Happens to be a B. And then again, one or more Bs or Cs. So I could have had a C in there somewhere, but I didn't. Happened to be all Bs. That's just fine. Starts with an A. Wild card. One or more C's. B's or C's, sorry. Yeah, that covers it. Next one. A. Wild card. Then we have our unlimited numbers of B's and C's after that. One or more. We took care of that with just that first one, but we had more after that. A. Wild card. 
And really, it's very similar to the one above this, but it could be in any fashion, really, the order of it, because it's getting this B's or C's the whole entire time. So it really doesn't have to be just B's in order and then C's. It really could be any order or combination, because we're constantly going back to the same thing and saying, okay, combination what? Okay, one of these, fine. One of these, fine. It goes from there. So that is your last answer for this problem.